Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be creating a free VPS with Oracle Cloud free tier. Oracle Cloud offers a wide range of services including databases, VM instances, compute storages, and much more. With Oracle Cloud, you get 300 USD free startup credit valid for 30 days upon sign up. This credit can be used to try Oracle Cloud services which are not free tier eligible. The sign up process is very simple. On your browser, search for Oracle Cloud free tier and select the first link. On the Oracle Cloud sign up page, click on start for free. After that, fill in the account information and create your account. During the sign up process, you might be asked to provide your credit card. Don't worry, the credit card is used for verification purposes only. You won't be charged any penny at all. I'll skip the sign up process to make this video as short as possible. After you have created your Oracle Cloud account, you have to log in to your dashboard. After logging into your dashboard, select Instances. If you see a screen like this one, scroll down under Components, select your username, then click on Create Instance. Give your instance a name. Under image and shape, click on edit to change the default Oracle Cloud image. Under image, you have the following options. Oracle Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS, Windows, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, Marketplace, and My Images. For this tutorial, we are going to be using Ubuntu, but you can select any image which you want to use after selecting the image we are going to be selecting our os i will be selecting the ubuntu version 20.04 but you can select any vision of your choice after selecting the image we are going to change the shape as well the default shape is an IMT core with 1 CPU, 1 gigs of RAM, and 0.4 gigs of network. To change it, click on Change Shape. You can choose from AMD, Intel, or Ampere depending on your needs. But to access the full storage of 4 CPUs and 24 gigs of RAM, you must select Ampere. After selecting Ampere, select the shape name. Now you can choose any CPUs of your choice and the gigs of RAM that you require. If you want to use all the four CPUs and 24 gigs of RAM, keep in mind that you won't be able to create any other free tier eligible instances in the future since you will have already used all the free tier eligible resources. Make sure that you do not select all the resources if you want to use more free tier eligible instances in the future. When done choosing your CPU and RAM, click on select shape. For the SSH key, click on save private key. Your private key will be downloaded. Make sure to keep it safe since we will we'll need it to log in to our VPS in the future. After all that, leave everything as default and click on create to create your VPS instance. Wait for your instance to start running. To log into our VPS, we are going to use an app called Putty on PC or choose SSH if you are using an Android. Since I'm using a PC, I'm going to download and install Putty. You can find the link to download. You can find the link 
in the video description. If you are using Android, you can watch one of my previous videos which will show you how you can log into your VPS using Android. You will also find the link for that video in the description as well. After installing Putty, search for Putty Gen on your applications and open it. After opening it, click on load. Go to your download folder or any folder where you have saved your downloaded private key. Click on all files to see your private key, then select it. Now save your private key. After that, close Putty Gen and search for Putty on your application as well. Then open it. After opening Putty, go back to your browser and copy your username. Then paste it under host name. After that, put it. Then go back to your browser again and copy your public IP address. Then paste it under host name as well. Now expand the SSH section and expand the ENTH section as well. Then select Credentials. Click on Browse to select your recently saved private key. After selecting your private key, select Sessions and save your session for future logins. After saving your session, Click on open to open your VPS. Accept the security alert. That's how you can create a free VPS with 4 CPUs and 24 gigs of RAM using Oracle Cloud free tier. If you find this video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to share them in the comments below and of course make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos until then take care and peace